Birthing the Future. I opened the door to this temporal sphere to see what it had inside and saw to my wonder the beautiful splendor and thrilled at its great design. In all my wanderings, I went exploring and met such unique individuals. Interesting talks accompanied walks. My curiosity was unfillable. In every climb, I saw the sublime. In every valley, the peace. With every person, there was the divine and offered a unique peace. The sun and the moon within me bloomed and filled me with a blossom. I felt the movements in my womb and waited to birth something awesome. But, tiring of long gestation, impatient to give birth, I opened a door to vision beyond and with that changed the earth. For what I saw in my mind's eye stuck as a solid future. Evil would enter into earth's center and mar its perfect picture. Protecting the seed became my new task. I cannot let evil come in. In every walk, in every talk, I guarded the life within. All conversation exuded stagnations, for protection was my new motto. I dug myself deeper into the earth and made myself a deep grotto. Digging deeper and deeper in fear, I entered the core of the earth. There I found that I could abound, and in there, alone, I gave birth. Looking to see the product of me, it cried with unyielding wail, sending a sound that shattered the earth and making a spiritual veil. It was then that I saw that I was the one that I saw in prescient vision, who birthed the element into the core, causing the godhood division. Children of light birthed in the light, or children of night in the night, all know their place and can send out a grace that allows a future bright. But my child of light was brought into the night, obscuring the sun and the moon, and became the dreams that, full of screams, changed the earth's time and tune. Taking my child, I rose from the depths and brought it into the light. Sun on its face brought again grace, and fight or flight no longer plagued night. I went again to the prescient vision, daring to understand, and saw in amazement the multiple pages of futures that could be at hand. Rejoice, for our voice, our will, our choice can have profound effect. Understand your power over time. Be the future that you select. Remove the fear that sounds in your ear. Give place for love instead. Connect on the inside and on the out, allowing that future to spread.